We're rolling. Oh, we're rolling. Uh-oh. We're already rolling. That's Where's great. the action? Like, come on. Where's the little thing with the numbers? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me get out the... <laughs> uh, yeah. That's great. What gives me the, the greatest amounts of satisfaction is when I, when I nail it. You know, that, like when you're building something, when you're making an asset or you're putting a tree or a fence, or if you get like enough of the right things in the right places, I, it, it passes what I call the feels right test. Does it feel right? You know, like if you do it all wrong, it just won't feel right. But then if you, if you nail it, you get this, it's just, it's an incredible feeling. My name is Jason Dittmars. Uh, I'm a poli typhunk uh, in the gaming spectrum, and uh, I make assets for City Skylines, and I'm working on a one-to-one -one Berlin build. I'm an artist. I studied fine arts. I, I have a Master of Fine Arts from the Chicago Art Institute. And uh, these days, when I'm not playing City Skylines, I'm also helping artists create interactive installations. I'm independent, you know, I'm, I'm freelance, so I, I work on my own terms. I love Berlin. I, I absolutely love it. My mom was born in Ludwigsburg during the war, and then she was transplanted to America, and so I'm kind of coming back to my roots in a way. You know, the wall coming down in 89, I was a teenager, and you know, that that world event kind of shaped my growing up. So Berlin, as far as personal history and just uh, world history, 20th century world history, it's such a fascinating place. I like to say it wears its history on its sleeve. You can see the you know, 20th century history on the buildings, on the architecture. It's the center place of 20th century world history. I mean, it's where the East meets the West. You know, my, my Berlin build in City Skylines, one thing I really love about it is that I can take assets from everywhere. The game comes with a vanilla set and it comes with a European set. And then there's a Russian community that's making Russian buildings. But for Berlin, I can, I can grab pieces of all the different communities and squish them all in here. And that's, that's how Berlin is. It's, it's, it's native to Berlin to be that center focus point between the East and the West. And I love that about it. My whole life, I've been interested in interactive art. Of course, I'm a fan of art history. I love paintings that, that are static works, but my favorite artists are 20th century artists like Jean Tinglet, Marcel Duchamp, these guys that start making kinetic stuff that, that, engage, that interacts with you, interacts with the, the viewer. And so this, this build that I've got going of, of Berlin, I mean, it is interaction defined. That's how you experience it, you interact with it. I got the game two years ago before I had any mods, you know, I mean, my, my first attempt, you look back at that city now and you're just like, oh, you know, what, oh, it's, you know. Brandenburg Tor was one of the game's assets, so I had that. So Brandenburg Tor, that was like one of the first things I plopped. I have 60 objects on the workshop. Some of them are just props though. There are only a few that are sort of major creations. And then there's my first building, the International Handel Centrum, the very simple blocky one, which has 80,000 subscribers. So it, it, I marvel at the idea that this thing that I've made, it's around the world. It's being used, interacted with by these gamers. The idea of the workshop, of sharing buildings between asset creators and gamers that use them, fascinates me. This, this is something new, I think, you know? This ability that we're making this thing, all of us together, it's this global collaboration. Love it. There's like a dozen maps of Berlin that you can get on the, on the workshop. And so I picked one that I felt was the most realistic and then just started going on that. And I worked on that, on his map, for a year and a half. I mean, frequently, too. 
we're talking about, you know, eight hours a day, like crazily, you know, like obsessively. It got kind of crazy there. And actually, I was running into uh, scale problems. And this was a discovery. I didn't know this until I'm trying to place these huge assets that I've made. I've made these big office complexes, you know, and I've upscaled like the Reichstag and Brandenburg Tor and the Rotes Rathaus. I've made all these things one to one. And then they didn't quite fit. I'm trying to build Berlin one-to-one. -one. But the map that I was working on, I discovered, was actually 4% smaller. You know, and it's, it was just 4%, but that 4% was just always like a thorn in my side. I could never get things to fit correctly. So when I got back from PDXCon just a few months ago, you know, maybe three or four months ago, I started on version two. And version two was me making the map, me making the overlays. See this rotating thing under this clock? Yeah. We got it. And it rotates. You see the lights in the patio? I got those. I mean, there, there are areas of this new map, this version two, where I've put hundreds of trees exactly where they go. Then I started to, to really build Berlin. I mean, my build, the sun rises where it rises in Berlin, and it sets where it sets. You know, I've, I've stood on the Reichstag roof, and I've watched the sun set over the park, and I know where it sets. You know, so much of what I'm doing, I, know, I just know it. You know, even down to like an elevation of a street. Well, that street goes up a bit there. So I'll get that, you know, because I bike everywhere. So I know where the hills are. So I'll get that, in, that has to be in there. You know, the elevations of the streets have to be right because I know when I'm coasting down a road or not, you know, and I know where the sun sets. And so when I get all that stuff and it passes the feels right test, that's the most satisfying moment.